If you only knew how much angst it took to get this on, can you tell how bad it is? I feel gross. Something went wrong with the concealer and I don't know. Let's go for the disheveled. I haven't done my eyebrows in like a week. Look. Yes, this is a week. <laughs> Great. MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I hardly use like an eye primer anymore. Which This is my only eye primer I use. Because I just usually put concealer over the top because I'm lazy. I never do like nice makeup anymore. <laughs> So, you know, because I'm always like, oh, I'm not going anywhere, so why waste makeup? But then, when can I film? Because the only time that I'm going out, it's too dark to film. Now, daylight savings, I might have some extra time. But what should I do? I want to do something fun. I'm going to take my favorite palette. This is the Too Faced Natural Mattes, and I'm taking a transition color. I'm using a mixture of Nude and Cashmere Bunny. You know what, I've been really feeling like I want to do a green look lately. Green and purple, they kind of fit together and they kind of look a bit weird on, so let's do it. What would it look better, like green on the lid and purple in the crease, or purple in the crease and green on the lid? Because I feel like green lid would be better, and green crease would not look good. Okay, I'll do that. But I need a good purple. This is great, but they're not available anymore, these things. Success, and this is still sold, but it is pretty expensive, but I mean... Whatever, purple eyeshadow is purple eyeshadow. So it's really hard to use, kind of. Like, purple eyeshadow is just a bit, just a bit difficult, but. So I'm going to take um, Anthem from the Kat Von D um, Color Mix. Maybe a Loka palette. And it's actually not matte, but that's okay. The thing is, with natural lighting, I can get away with quite a bit. If I had, like, good lighting, I'd have to be so much more careful. At least with the camera. If it was the other way around, I'd have to worry about getting this, like, matching my neck and then walking outside and being like... I knew it would be really soft, but... I don't know. I never use colour, so this is interesting. Well, I, I like to, but I just never do. Because it takes more blending, and it takes more effort and more creativity. I never go out, sorry, yeah. Okay, that'll do. I'm then going to take the Neon Color Crush. These are not available anymore, but I'm sorry. It's from Australis. Um, and uh, purple eyeshadow, it's not that hard. Come on. I'm sorry, I just, I don't buy shades. I got all this stuff that I don't use. Sorry, it's called Laugh Out Louds with a Z. And I'm going to take the warmer purple and just, um, I'll mix them together. And I'm just going to intensify... So before we kind of blew it out into the brow bone, this time we'll just keep it into the socket. I really want it to be a bit more intense so we can actually see it. But then again, I'm afraid of going ham. On the edge of a brush, I'm just going to... And that's on my brow bone. Right. Fix that. Go back in with the other purple and fix what you made a mistake on. We'll clean the brow bone up later. I'm just... Why do the things you love hurt you? I'm almost feeling this just entirely purple look, but that's not what we're here for. Baby, this is not what I came for. I feel so weird doing my makeup without music, but I know that it's just going to be distracting and then I'm going to hate myself when I edit. Oh, I like it. I like it. I'm just going to take this angled brush and I'm just going to go under my eyes with the Neon Crush Purples. The thing about my eyes is you basically can't see what's under it. And then I'm going to take this small brush that came with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and then I'm going back in with that first purple we used from the Kat Von D and just blowing out thing. And it might, be careful, it might make you look like you got punched in the eye because it's purple, but just dragging it down a bit. Do you know why I like don't do looks like this? It's because I'm more into the editorial style makeup. Like, I put so much concealer on and I felt like, I, it wasn't even that much, but to me it was a lot. And so I felt like bloody, like those Instagram makeup artists. And I like more like editorial, like Lisa Eldridge type makeup. I'm going to deepen up the crease. I'm going to use the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. And uh, no, I'm not going to use the Anastasia one. Anastasia. I'm going to use the Elegance palette from Chi Chi and... 
Mm. It's this darkish purpley colour. It's kind of, it's the matte on there and it's kind of smashed. This whole palette's been like dropped. So it's not in the best condition. And I'm just taking that and just can, like making, just darkening up the crease. I haven't used purples literally since my Halloween tutorial last year. I like it. I'm probably going to end up hating the green now that I'm looking at all these pretty purples. That's actually so pretty. What the heck? I want to keep it like this. No, not letting myself, not letting myself keep it pretty. We're, we're doing, we're doing some fun. We're doing, we're having some fun tonight, okay? Hopefully it looks just as nice, but I doubt it. I'm going to start off with L'Oreal Infallible Color in Emerald Lane. It's lame, but it's lame, like so lame. It's like a pretty, pretty Christmas forest green. Tried baking, but like literally the bake wouldn't stick to me. It just like absorbed into my skin because I think um, the sponge was too foundation-y. Oh, that's pretty. This is like Barney. <laughs> oh my God. Is this going to be a cut crease? No, I'll blend it. Let's just use this Real Techniques brush. And we're gonna go in with. Oh, I did not know that was smashed and now it's all over my pants. No. Is that fallout? That's fucking fallout. Mm. Look, I ain't proud, but I ain't mad. I like it. I ain't mad. I feel like I packed on more on here. I'm gonna try to do that as well. Okay, let's fix pass it. Fuck it, let's do it. It looks so much better when it's intense. I don't know why I'm scared of like intensity. Oh, look at that. That literally looks like Barney and Friends though, doesn't it? <laughs> Ooh. Blend it in. And then back in with purple, cause that purple got lost, man. That purple like, ooh, ooh. I'm really confused right now, but I'm not hating it. It's gone blue. Can you tell? <laughs> it's because I'm mixing it with the cooler toned purple. Okay. And we're done with the eyes. It looks like a peacock. I am so not mad right now. I love this. Then, oh, this pretty, this pretty color. Oh. This is Muse by Kat Von D and I'm going to put that on my inner corner because I feel like something really special is going to happen. That was anticlimactic. Gonna go in and clean up my brow bone with a nude eyeshadow. I really want to make another video about TV shows because I've been watching a lot lately and it's on my other channel called, it's called Ish Culture. Anyway. The blush I'm using is e.l.f. Uh, Mellow Morph. It's one of my favorites. I used to use this on like my eyes and my cheeks and like it's just such a pretty like morph color. It's not even showing up. It's that old. I don't like my contour today. It's too harsh. And for highlighter I'm using Max Perfect Topping. Pretty sure it's limited edition but it's just a pinky highlighter so I thought it would go well with the purples. Once you get past like the top layer, it becomes better, a better highlighter. Because at first I was like, this is so underwhelming. But now I'm just like. The reason I've left my eyeliner and mascara till last is because I have discovered some $3 makeup products. And they were on, they were on sale at Kohl's, so I should get this video up fast so that if they're still on sale. But there's a company called Mode at Kohl's, like the supermarket. And um, there was other stuff, but I'm gonna try this out. This liquid look out, this liquid liner. I'm guessing it's gonna be really bad. It's gonna ruin my makeup. I don't care. It's three dollars and it's just in black. So let's test it out. I can tell this is gonna be a disaster. Look at this wand. There we go. See? Mm, no. Oh my god! Fall out. It's like you're using the heck it's not even flexible i'll show you like okie dokie i the the car just got full and i don't know where i stopped where it stopped recording so i was just saying so i just finished my eyeliner can you can you see 
I don't like it. It's not very good. Um, I was just saying that, you know what it would be good for if you were like doing Halloween makeup and you didn't want to spend, and you were doing like a lot of like detail work with black and you didn't want to use all of your whatever good liquid eyeliner you had or if you didn't have gel or whatever. And it would be good because then you, it's $3. It's not really big of a waste if you use all of it. Plus the tip makes it like kind of like a scribble tip. Like it wouldn't really work. It's like a pen, like literally like it's hard. Like only like probably the, the tip of it is kind of soft. Like just that tip is the only felt part of it. The rest of it is like a pen. <laughs> These eyelashes are even going on. In one of my videos, I put the eyelashes on so bad and like I didn't even notice till I was editing. I was like, what is wrong with me? For lips, I saved, obviously, obviously saved it till last. Bottom mascara. I never put top mascara when I'm putting eyelashes on. It just seems like, because I don't have blonde eyelashes, like mine are pretty dark. And plus when I wear fake eyelashes, I don't have to take that much, much mascara off, which is the big thing about taking off your makeup, it's the mascara part. Even if it's not waterproof, it just takes forever. Anyway, Mode has a matte lip cream. $3 matte lip cream. And I chose the color that most appeals to me, which is the nude, which is boring, but whatever. And I got a lip liner as well, just cause there's no color. It's just, wait, the color of the lipstick is Sleeping Beauty, but this is Jive. This is Mode Jive. I mean, I don't usually expect much from lip liners, just that they stay on. I mean, quite usually the colors appeal to me because most lip liner colors that, you know, at least consumer based are the colors. I like nudey, pinky, rosy colors, which I quite like. Kind of reminds me of Mac Whirl, but, or Saw. I have Saw, but I don't know, I don't know where my Whirl is. So for reference, this is Mac Saw Mode Jive. Actually, yeah, they're pretty close actually. Mac Saw. And that's Rose Jive. So if you're looking for a, a saw dupe, this is $3. Goes on nicely. Okay, let's see. Moment of truth. Not sure if I should do a full on review on it, but then I need more colors because of inconsistencies. Okay. So it's a nice coral nude color. Doesn't have a scent. Kind of synthetic y. Definitely doesn't match. Definitely not nude, it's more coral. Definitely doesn't match the liner. It applies kind of like, applies pretty good actually. Attention to the um, lines though, you know. Mm, drying's pretty, dry, drying pretty quickly, but it's still movable. Always, always this corner. And that's the finished look. I feel like it looks, the lipstick looks matte, but it's comfortable. It's like, still feels smooth. It's more like a lipstick consistency where you put on the matte lipstick, but not like the MAC matte lipsticks, like a regular kind of like Maybelline matte lipstick. And you can still like move it around and it's not getting streaky as I move it around. It is, looks like it's cracking when I stretch my, nothing, it's not cracking when I stretch, but when I do this, you can see it like close and personal. Can you see how it looks like like paint cracking? Okay, it's starting to dry more. I really like the color though. But it just looks like you can't really layer it, which is annoying because you can't really just use one layer. Anyway, this is the final look. I actually enjoy this. I'm feeling it. It's like a peacock. What do you want? Anyway, I'm taking some photos and um, thanks for watching. Okay, can you see that? It's sticky. But you know what? For the price, I'll deal with it. Even though I can't even talk because my lips are like getting sharp. <laughs> I mean, you could put some translucent powder over it and it would stop that, but I feel like it would just cake it up. Anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.